coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Expo 22 is on. Autopiloted Tesla runs headlong into Park Cirrus Jet. And Beta raises $375 million for AAM cargo aircraft. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Era News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Expo 22 is on. AUVSI's long-awaited Exponential 2022 is now in full swing, and the action is fierce. ANN's Airborne Uncrewed video news team is on site and cranking out stories and interviews as fast as we can. Celebrating its 50th anniversary, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International brings its world-class annual conference, Exponential, to Orlando this week. AUVSI is the world's largest nonprofit organization dedicated to the advancement of uncrewed systems and robotics. Their signature event, Exponential, is the world's most comprehensive trade show for uncrewed systems and autonomy. Focused on this year's theme of assured autonomy, collective progress, the event convenes technologists, users, policymakers, and strategists from more than 20 industries to share data and best practices, demo cutting-edge technology, and solve real-world problems. Exponential attracts 8,000-plus attendees each year who attend 200-plus educational sessions. The Expo Hall provides premier access to more than 500-plus companies, all showcasing the latest breakthroughs in drones, robotics, and other uncrewed systems. ANN has already been on the floor on the eve of the event and notes that this year's convention floor is packed and that we should have some amazing stories to report in the coming days. After these messages, Vertical proceeds with certification. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed Vehicle Communities. Vertical proceeds with certification. Vertical Aerospace is trucking along towards certification, adding a former EASA certification director to the company to lead regulatory engagement and completing a bit of corporate housework in preparation for wider testing. They have obtained approval to concurrently validate their VX4 eVTOL aircraft with the EASA and the UK Civil Aviation Authority. That will allow it to be certificated to the UK standards with minimal extra fuss, time, and cost, with both processes running simultaneously. Vertical eyes a release date in 2025. Nautilus announces expansion. Nautilus has announced an expansion to its operations at San Diego, California's Brown Field to prepare for mass production of their short-haul feeder UAV. Manufacturer of the first aircraft in the Nautilus family, an uncrewed cargo hauler sporting a 3.8-ton payload, has begun in preparation for its first flight in early 2023. The Brownfield facility includes a 12,000-square-foot hangar for prototype final assembly, structural testing, systems integration, and the extensive secondary structural binding required to complete the aircraft. Rocket Lab secures multi-launch contract. Rocket Lab has obtained another contract, this time being the lucky recipient of business from Hawkeye 360 for the launch of three electron rocket missions toward the end of this year. The multi-launch contract will deliver five clusters totaling 15 satellites. Their satellite constellation will allow them to offer radio frequency geospatial analytics, 
The first Hawkeye 360 mission will launch in December 2022 with additional launches across 2022 and 24. EVE lines up partnership with Thales. EVE Air Mobility has entered into an agreement with Thales to develop their eVTOL aircraft in Brazil. The strategic partnership will involve a series of joint studies through 2022 to examine the technical, economic, and overall feasibility of a fully electric aircraft. Thales will contribute its expertise in avionics, electric flight controls, nav systems, comms, and ergonomics to the development of EVE's aircraft. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. Autopiloted Tesla runs headlong into parked Cirrus jet. Surveillance footage making the rounds is making aviators and Tesla aficionados cringe this week as it shows a remotely summoned Tesla collide with a parked Vision jet at low speed. The security camera video reportedly shows the result of a Tesla owner using the remote summon feature of his car, an automated capability that uses a combination of sensors and programming to take the car short distances when the owner requests it. Thankfully, the low speed seems to have limited the damage as the car approaches the tail of the plane at moderate speed before making contact with what appears to be its A-pillars and roof. Once touching, the car continues to force its way past, rotating the plane and swinging the tail around about 90 degrees. The result should not be too surprising for those familiar with the difficulties of machine learning and environmental variables. Tesla likely didn't have too many opportunities to test the remote driving feature on airport aprons, especially when surrounded by 11-foot-tall V-tail aircraft. Those familiar with the Tesla's functionality have said the result should have been utterly expected given its unusual environment of an airport. And after the break, Beta raises $375 million for AAM cargo aircraft. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Beta raises $375 million for AAM cargo aircraft. Beta's $375 million funding addition brings its total valuation to $2.4 billion in its quest to develop its ALEA aircraft. The investment will allow them to further develop the ecosystem required for a cargo version of the ALEA from charging to fleet support. Beta has been hard at work courting clientele for its future wares, receiving the affections of UPS and Amazon in addition to the Air Force and United Therapeutics, among others. They anticipate a passenger model to be part of their future offerings, but their primary focus has been to supply fully electric cargo haulers for the logistical backbone of the U.S. That tactic may prove wise given the simplicity of the cargo market in comparison to cultivating ridership. Being able to offer services at a solid rate is far simpler than building an air taxi ecosystem more enticing than the range of competitors expected to arrive on scene in the coming years. The Alia is expected to offer a range of around 250 nautical miles with a correctly prepared payload, but they have said in the past that they could very well be restricted to half that by the FAA for a time. And that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.